As far as security is concerned, 2019 wasn't a good one for residents of Katsina State. Killings, maiming, kidnapping, arson in many parts of the state. Batsari, Jibia, Damusa, Safana, Sabwa, Kankara, Dandume, and Faskari are some of the local government areas worst hit. The solution to that was why the governor considered the introduction of a peace deal and amnesty initiative for armed bandits across the state. Five months after that effort, residents lament there is not so much to show for it as the bandits only changed their modus operandi. The last December we witnessed, almost every night, one form of attack will be mounted on an individual or on a household and people are taken away, they have to get money to not pay ransom before their relatives are also taken. This is in addition to lives that were killed by these people. Even at Saudi yesterday, an individual was killed. While residents engage in individual effort, including praying, some list possible causes for the attacks. Every day, we have fighter aircraft, including helicopters, start taking off from Katana about at least three to four, every day. And thing is going higher and higher and higher and higher. The ban on uh, what do you call them, vigilante group, actually is an avenue for the bandits to actually enjoy themselves freely. Because if there is anybody who these people fear are the vigilante, they are now uh, a band. Police consider some of the reports as only a deliberate escalation of the actual situation. The insinuation that we are going around in the, in the, in the, in the social media that about 40 uh, passengers were kidnapped, it wasn't true. Yes. Eight of them were rescued. We are searching for seven persons now. So the dialogue process is on and uh, it has not broken down. The state government is promising a lasting solution to the crisis. The nature of this problem is community-based. And any community-based problem, you need to understand the dynamics of the problem before you find a solution to it. And that's the next state the government is going into. But definitely the dialogue, the amnesty is on course and we are going to find lasting solution to the problem and I'm giving you assurance sooner than people expect this problem will be history. Residents insist they will take these promises with a pinch of salt until they translate to a safer Katsina state. <laughs>